Replacing the battery on a MacBook Air is a fairly straightforward process. However, before you start, you need to purchase the correct battery type for your model of laptop. If you flip over the MacBook Air, you will see details relating to your computer etched to a position close to the hinge of the laptop. You should be able to identify the model for the laptop and also the date that it was manufactured. These two pieces of information will help ensure that you purchase the correct battery part. You will also need a 5P Pentelope screwdriver, which is a specialist screwdriver for 5 point star screws. We first need to remove the bottom cover of the laptop. To do this we need to remove 10 screws. You will notice that as I remove the screws from the laptop, I'm positioning them adjacent to where I took them from. As the screws in the MacBook Air can be of various size and length, I'm ensuring that when it comes time to reassemble the laptop, I will use the correct screw type in the right places. With the last screw removed, we can open up the laptop. From the hinge side, we simply use our thumb to lift the bottom plate away from the computer. We now need to remove the battery connector from the motherboard. The connector has a clear plastic tag. You use this to pull towards the front edge of the MacBook Air. Do not lift upwards on the connector as you disconnect. We now need to remove the screws that hold the battery in place. There are a total of five screws, but the one in the center of the battery is very easy to miss. Again, I'm trying to position the screws adjacent to where I've taken them from. The battery will now simply lift out. To help lift out the battery, use the plastic tag on the battery connector. You will probably notice that there's a lot of dirt, dust and debris inside of the laptop. To help the laptop run efficiently, it's worth taking the opportunity to clear the inside of the laptop. To do this, we're going to take the laptop outside and spray it with some compressed air. With the inside of the laptop now cleaned, we can look at fitting the replacement battery. We used, and we recommend that you use, an official battery replacement part, which will cost around about £100. You can purchase a MacBook Air battery from a third party for half the price, but this option may prove to be a false economy. Fitting the replacement battery is very straightforward. Simply drop the replacement battery into place, ensuring that the screw holes on the battery line up with the screw holes in the corresponding positions on the computer case. We now need to make the battery secure by screwing it back into place. The laptop battery is now secured with five screws. We now need to connect the battery back to the motherboard. Using the clear plastic tab, we slot the connector into place. When we're sure that the battery is properly connected to the laptop, we can push the plastic tab down to keep it out of the way. We can now reattach the panel for the bottom of the laptop. You might find there's some dirt and debris build up here. It's worth giving a clean with some compressed air. Again, we're lining up the screw holes on the back plate to the case of the laptop. This ensures that we have a good fit. We can now screw everything back together again. Now with all the screws back in place, we can flip the laptop over 
and because the battery has some residual power left, we should be able to switch the laptop on to test that it's working OK. As you can see here, the MacBook Air is now powering up, which means that the battery has been correctly fitted. The final step is to condition the battery to ensure that it can hold its maximum charge.